from representing the Bulgarian Center for Non-Profit Law. And, um, And um, since the organization does need a fundraising, um, I decided to talk to you about an organization that does fundraising and does it successfully in my country. So I'm going to present the fundraising practices of the SOS Children Villages in Bulgaria, um, which, to my, in my opinion, um, do a very consistent job uh, in fundraising in the last over a decade. So. I'm going to start from here. So the yearly income of the foundation, so then press this one. Bit, yes. okay. Very good. So this is what they earn, this is what they, um, the, their budget is um, in a year. It's 2.7, um, 173.007 euro. And um, their fundraising income is basically half a million euro. Um, from this, 58% um, comes from companies and 42% comes from donations from individuals. And just to have a relation, um, what they spend mm -hmm. for fundraising is 103,000 euro. So you have an idea of, of what their budget looks like. And to me, that's very impressive. Mm -hmm. um, given that um, in Bulgaria fundraising is not very popular and um, this is one of the organizations that's, that's brave enough to diversify their funding sources. So who pay the rest? I'm sorry? Who pay the rest of the income? Um, either projects or they receive um, annual um, kind of a specific amount of money from the headquarters no, in order to, to sustain their activities. Okay, so this is um, the information. This is how they get their money. They have um, one-off donations from individuals and companies. They have family sponsorships, which gives opportunities for individuals or companies to donate to a family in the SOS village, and they have different packages. Um, they differ in, in their amount that they're supposed to be given. In-kind donations which is about 10% of their um, fundraising income, greeting cards, Christmas and Easter cards, and um, speaking of success uh, and failure, um, they claim that their success story is the Christmas cards and the Easter cards have been a complete failure for some reason, so they stopped doing them. And um, the last one is tailor-made projects, which is comprehensive <coughs> campaigns uh, for cost-related campaigns. So when they approach individuals, they use direct mailing, uh, multi-channel uh, campaigns, SMS campaigns, and um, in the last year, for the first time in their experience, they did um, banners and Facebook campaigns, which was something new for them. They were very proud of it. Okay, and this is um, when addressing companies, they address them face to face, or they do networking events or merchandising. Um, the database they use, uh, there was a question in the, in the inquiry about the database they use um, in their campaigns. They use both warm addresses uh, of companies and individuals, which is their own database for their loyalty program. And for recruitment campaigns, they use um, a rented um, database from marketing agencies. Um, also, they use discount advertising space, like banner space. Um, and there was a question about how they um, make decisions about what they're going to do and how much money they're going to spend. Um, and they were very clear about um, doing team discussions and discussing every campaign, every um, yearly income they get from fundraising. And based on that, um, they decide on what they're going to do for next year. So they have. Um, annual plans about what they're going to do. Um, this is the diverse picture that I was talking about. So from individuals, um, they get, this is, this is the division of their um, incomes. Mm -hmm. And we have the same for companies. So 
so you see this, which is why. This is why it's impressive to me, mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's a very colorful um, diagram. Okay, um, this is one of their best, best practices. This is the back to school program. This is sent to um, companies um, to support children in their first day of school and throughout the school year. Um, and here they gave me an example of um, what was the result last year. So they um, mailed about 10,000 uh, contacts. 61 of them um, gave something. The average donation was here, 698 level, which is about roughly 350 euro. Um, and uh, this is their actual income. Okay. Can I see that? So they mailed 10,000 people, and only 61 came back? Companies. 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 And then the companies gave, on average, about 700 leva which is about 350 euro. Okay, this is another best practice, which is a partnership between the foundation and um, um, meat production company, um, where they would um, agree that, here it says, the amount of 20 Bulgarian cents, which is like 10 euro cents, um, if you buy this salami goes to them, and um, another five cents goes to something else. So this was also a good example. <laughs> Actually, it was very visible. <clears throat> okay, and this is something that they did the, for the first time last year, and they did it in partnership with a marketing and advertising agency, which gave them the idea. They did a big charity event. Um, on the occasion of the Christmas Family Day, which is in November, they've invited um, 300 companies. Um, they had about 90 people who, um, who actually showed up. Um, they did it in the National Museum of History. Um, and uh, they had planned to financially support um, a certain amount of families, a certain amount of houses. So whenever they got the funding needed for one, there would be a light on the wall. So this is what they uh, explained here. So they, at the end of the evening, they had um, um, the option for companies had the options to give cash donations uh, before the event or during the event or after it. Um, they had donation boxes at the event and they had uh, an exhibition of 18 photos which were actually sold at the end. And they managed to collect 21,000 leva, which is about 10,000 euro. And three companies sponsored the event. Yes. So these are some pictures. And also they sell, this is the Christmas card, the cards that they sell. And that's all for me. Oh, here, the income from the Christmas card. So the income uh, was this which is about 30,000 euro, and um, there were 65,000 cards sold. So that's it for me. Mm -hmm.